this match has been one of the most, if not the most, eagerly awaited contests of the 2024 season. The back-to-back -back World Cup champions against their most respected foe. This is round three of the Castle Lager Rugby Championship and another 80 minutes of drama awaits. The Springboks against the All Blacks. Yeah, he's dropped two and two. Cody Taylor, good. Sabia the target. The All Blacks getting some momentum from them all. Over and down, Cody Taylor. Look here. Springbox packing in around him. Mbanambi with the breakaway. A hole in South Africa's defensive line. Peronado wants to come back to his left. First man, Sasha Feinberg and Gomez Hulu certainly got the distance. Dixon. That ball lost forward by. Jasper Visser as he came around the corner. So turnover ball here for the All Blacks. It could be on for them. Bowden Barrett for Jordan and Caleb Clark. Clark is in. Brilliant transition from the All Blacks. It was an unforced error from the Springboks as Dixon tried to pop the ball up for Visser. Detroit. Takes two All Blacks to get him on the ground, trying to create a mismatch. But there's a knock on there, and half time is called by Andy Brace. So, half time at Emirates Airline Park in Johannesburg. It's South Africa 11, New Zealand 12. It's a Beth. Down for Reinach, Feinberg and Gomezulu, and the interception is from Jordi Barrett, chased down by Kurt Lee But Barrett has too much. The perfect start to the second half, but soft from the Springboks. Yeah, and he's obviously done his homework. The South Africans had run that play. Well, third try for the All Blacks, and uh, the simplest of conversions for Damian McKenzie. Devin Etzebeth, wonderful support there from Gerard Stienekamp, just his fifth Tackle. test cap. The Vodacom Bulls player. Ball, ball down, Jaffa in position, one, uh, 17 straight off the feet. And now adds another three, so back into an eight-point lead. Two, four, seven, one, 15. Over the top from Cody Taylor, McKenzie, there's a two-on-one here for Bowden Barrett. And Clark will go in unopposed, it's a fourth try for the All Blacks, a second for Caleb Clark. Brilliant execution again. Put in there, more. Ruan Nokia towards the tail. One stop sideways. And we're moving sideways, so stop call. But Malcolm Marks still in control as the Springboks go forward. Still moving. And still moving forward. Suddenly the crowd in Johannesburg finds their voice. Right. Penalty advantage being shown here. Okay, this is one. Hands in the pocket. 18 changing balls. Offer to the fast, he thought he had come through the middle. No, one stop, and then it was. Actually, speaking to the ref as he came through there, but too many penalties in this area, and you can see a clear momentum shift. By Cheston Colby filling in at scrum half away for It's a bet. They're close to the line. Smith. Over who went, the spring box. Yeah, a fighting back. Okay, advantage, offside. Another penalty advantage. 
Offside of Annette. Nick's carry just a metre short. And Williams! We promise you an epic. And these two teams have delivered. It was all New Zealand for so much of the opening quarter of the game. But the Springboks have found a way to get the job done. Full time at Emirates Airline Park in Johannesburg. South Africa 31. New Zealand 27.